Good day everybody, my name is Arenza. On this video, we are going to look at 8 free visualization tools for the year 2021. You know, this is a new year and all of us that are, are going to be looking at for a way to make our job to be lighter and smoother for us. You know, for the first application we are going to look at for the 8 free visualization tool is what we call raw graph. You know, for some of you that have been working with maybe I've been plotting with Excel and so many other low level, you know, small, medium, you know, uh, um, visualization tools. You can try and look at raw graph. Raw graph, you know, even the even though the visualization nature is not too enhanced, you know, for somebody that wants to, you know, for some of the things that we have been seeing lately of time, you know, the visualization tool is still like kind of, you know, simple and everything. And one of the great thing about raw graph is that every most of every data extension that you can think of is actually you can actually make use of it csv dsv json excel you can actually export it you can actually use it in raw graph you can go to the website i'm going to leave the link below you can go to the website go to their gallery and see if any of the ones maybe imperative things that they use that if interest you are, if you actually what you are looking for the next one i'm going to look at is what we call tabular public you know some of us that have been you know that have been looking at maybe you you have been building that well with tabla or maybe you don't have money to you know buy the free package you know the application you can actually use tabla public tabla public to actually build your own visualization to you know it's a very it is a very enhanced visualiz visualization to in the sense it, it makes you to visualize any type of visualization you can actually think of you can actually do it with this so another but another problem with it it's only allows for csv and Excel and google spreadsheet you know extension you can actually you cannot actually export a database to the free version and again uh, an another another thing is that everything you are going to build is going to be online you are not going to export any of your visualization table or any of your chart to anybody it's going to be online so Probably is anybody that you give the link that is going to see what you have done with the data set, maybe the person provides for you. Now the number six that we are going to look at is what we call night lab. You know, night lab is majorly for journalism as you can actually see that they specify the term. Journalism and storytelling. You know, the common chart that maybe the bar chart and so many other common charts that we can we are normally use in our day to day work. You cannot actually see it maybe in night lab. But for all those people that are into journalism, maybe trying to tell their story, you know, how things move and so many other things in geographical areas, you can actually use Night Lab to actually achieve that. You can go to their website and see if any of what they are doing actually interesting. So the next one I'm going to look at is this Plotly. Plotly uh, is a very, very good visualization tool. The, I don't, the reason why I kept it at this, at this position is that um, it is it's very, very good for people that are, you know, Coming from programming aspect of data visualization, he, 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 they have an API for Python and R and some and some many other maybe um, uh, a Python and R you know source um, external API that you can actually build on top of your visualization. But one one con maybe one problem with it is that after you have finished building and maybe five more than five thousand people cannot view your chat in a day and so many other things that maybe. You can actually read the documentation and see whether it interests you. It's a very, very nice. You can actually build your dashboard. So many things that you can actually do with it. The next one I'm going to look at is Infogram. Uh, it's a simple drag and drop, and it's just like Google Studio, Google Data Studio. Like you can easily drag and drop every tag that you need. You know, set everything that you, that you want in the way you, need, you needed it to be and the way you wanted it to look like. And one problem with it is that you cannot up, you, you cannot actually uh, upload more than twenty five type connecting to the SQL. As in, like you can easily you know you cannot actually upload more than twenty five type. Maybe you are connecting an SQL to it. You cannot actually upload more than twenty type of of data set to it. Another one, you know, you can go to the website and see if actually anything interests you and see if you can actually maybe work with it and so many other things. The next one, which is um, which is what we call the chart block, 
in a tad block what what really what the, the main thing i really like about tad block is that bat out and so many other ways that you know that you can visualize with tad block you know like the it, it, interactive measure in tad block is so so very very okay like you can actually do so many things and you can actually inter build an interactive measure data set you know tell your story with a data set with tad block you yourself can actually go to it and see if there's anything maybe are looking to use it and trying to see if some of the charts that they have that it's really really what you're looking for another problem is it only allow for maybe 50 active chart like you can't build more than 50 active chart maybe combining chart and trying to test to a different chart than different chart and it only allows you and you can only upload excel or maybe csv file in chart in chart block you can maybe connect uh, a you can connect maybe you cannot connect a sql database to it and your data set is not maybe i think on the free version your data set should, uh, cannot exceed more than 50 mb so 50 megabytes so uh, as you can see that you know there are so many cons of using the free version the next one we're going to look at is what we call the data app data app is one of, is a very very good as an is one of the best that i've actually come across recently like it's a very very good visualization tool but i, I think i don't I, I, the one of the problem is that it doesn't actually give you uh, an opportunity to you know the free version and it's very 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 costly like for you to use that dropper you have to spend tons of money the the on the free version only allows you to export on you know png file you cannot maybe do something like after you have finished developing you now decide to maybe export it in so many of that format you cannot do that with that wrapper free version you can go to it and see if you can actually if you can actually work with it and if you see that it's a very, very good visual you can actually tell your company to make use of it and see how it's going to work out for you it's a very, very good visual so the last and the best but not the least among the best the, the best are yet to come this is the uh, this is just anyway probably some people are already developing the best one this is if you want to be something of this nature i think you should just go to flourish want to build an interactive measure of this nature that you're seeing here you can just go to flourish they have tons of gallery they have tons of examples that you can work with if you want to build a very very interactive measure or something that somebody that does not even know what i'm talking about if you want to capture the audience i think you can go with flourish i think this is all i have for you guys there are so many other best visualization too but for me this is the best in the market right now and you can easily go to the website i'm going to leave all the links to the website below in the you can maybe on the description session you can actually look at it one by one and see if any of them interest you disclaim none of them paid me to actually do this it was just trying i was just trying to see maybe how people how some of the version tools i've been using none of them paid me to actually do a publicity that then they're already a big company i don't think they can actually the the visualization they are doing the work they are doing is already speaking for them thank you and god bless you happy new year once again please don't forget to subscribe and like and click the share button below thank you once again and god bless you